Hello. Hello! Welcome back to another Woolly Wednesday episode. I know. Happy, Happy New, New Year! Year. Oh, great. 2020, the roaring 20s. Indeed. I'm really looking forward to them. Are you? Yeah. Mm. It's been. It's already been a good start to the year. Oh, so. that's it. Gosh. Yes. Work is going well. Life yes. is good. Oh. Can't complain. Wonderful. Hope you had a wonderful time. Yes. How are you doing? Have you had yes. a good start or are you just still warming up like some of us? No, I reckon they're all back into it. Projects galore. Drowning in we projects. We had yeah. this week three. Uh, crochet seems to be the big thing currently. Mm. Three, uh, two ladies in today learning to crochet. So I reckon that's been a news resolution for many. Yeah, and maybe wonderful. one of those things is that you, you've always meant to get round to it and you never do. So mm, indeed, and you're yeah. crocheting as we speak. Yes. So what are you doing? I'm making a big wrap type thing. Would you look at the length of it? Um, it's 170 something stitches wide. But it's going to be a wrap with buttons and things. Ooh. Yeah. And this is... Oh, this is that... That's um, that marble. Yes, marble chunky. Good classic yarn marble chunky. Can't go wrong with it, really. Love the colours. Yeah. Can you tell I have favourite colours in my life, people? Turn around. You can't. Go oh. Have we got a bit of a... How good is you that? You better not have dropped me stitch. <laughs> oh, I dropped, no, dropped your hook. I yes. was just saying... I'm and you've just had your hair done as well, haven't you? Well, just before Christmas, it's in need of another do. It fades no. so quickly. Mm. Yeah. Anyway, Looks good. I'm just saying, it's my first time using a rather enormous hook. It's nine millimeter. Yeah. It's ginormous compared to four, which or five, which I normally use. But yes, enormous hook for chunky yarn. But it works up so quick, yeah. doesn't it? Yeah. So when I was doing those beanies before Christmas, and I was knitting on 10 and 8 mils. Oh, oh wow. Good. Five minutes and you're done. I know, yeah. Well, <laughs> three hours probably. Uh, but yeah, even but... then, yes. But it is so much quicker, so yeah. much quicker. But how are you finding it on your hands? Because um, a lot of the customers will don't really like knitting on super chunky, you know, uh, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, because it hurts the hands, so they say. Thankfully, not too bad. I do have a wee bit of a hand injury from climbing. So I'm a wee bit right. stiff in that hand yeah. anyway, but not really. It's just more cumbersome. It is a wee bit yeah. of a wee faff to get around with, but I'm getting used to it. I'm now six rows in, so imagine that's I'm used to. Well, two foundation rows and then six, mm. five rows done. Brilliant. And then have a nice repeating pattern for the next yeah, 30 rows. <laughs> yeah. So have you, have you got any projects like that on the go? Do you know what was lovely about our Christmas sort of New Year video was, oh yeah, that oh yeah. <laughs> was uh, reading your comments about uh, the vlog as well, yeah. uh, about what you wanted to see more of, or, you know, we were saying oh, some feedback from you. And actually, it was Dorothy's comment, wasn't it? Actually, just likes the, the, the chat and the hearing what's going on. Yeah. Um, like, what did you say? It was like uh, coffee and Christmas cake. Ugh. Oh. It's lovely. So wherever you are, uh, however you're watching us, whether it's uh, through your telly uh, or uh, <gasps> through the laptop. We TV stars. Oh, well, I watch it through the TV now. Oh, of course, because yeah. Because we've got Sky Television and Sky now have apps on there. So you can go obviously through Netflix yeah. or you can go to YouTube. Did, so, yeah. and we actually look quite good on, on a telly. big telly. Yeah, it made me laugh though, because- Because um, I should have done the, more effort with my makeup. The, uh, <laughs> the five hustle boys, Chip yeah. and Aaron watch us. Uh, I don't know whether they watch us on their telly, but they've got a huge telly. Like, oh really? Yeah, apparently they have big tellies over there. Oh Christ, like, don't I, look say too closely please, thank 50 you. 50 odd inches was it, or 60 inches? <laughs> That's ridiculous. It's huge, isn't it? Yeah. It's great. You'd have to sit on the other side of the room. Really. <laughs> now, speaking of um, Aaron and Chip, uh, Aaron's doing a new knit along. Uh, and mm. I think it, by the time this video goes out, you should still be, you know, time to join in. I, I'm going to go for it. <gasps> yes. Are you? Yeah. What, yeah. What are you um, going to do along? In, it's a, a shawl. It's an Isabel Kramer shawl. And I just keep the gay paddy. <laughs> So, that wouldn't surprise me. Okay. <laughs> so I'm going to join in. Uh, so I've got to just find my yarn. So um, that will be. If only for... you had a yarn shop. <laughs> I that, know. Uh, stock I've stuff. got to see. I have got to get the pattern. I've got to download the pattern and see what yarn it is. Uh, whether it's a four ply or a double knit. Not so, sure. So mission for this evening. Mm. I don't know whether you might want to join in, but then you've got that one I've there. I've just started my yes, thing. Okay. Right. I'll get. On, and I've on. still. I've kind of put off. I've started to attempt to knit my socks, and I haven't just quite started it properly. So. I really oh yeah we've got that to do we've got so many things to do yeah. this year we've started yeah. planning out all the things that we want to talk about mm -hmm. and do and projects i've now yes. 100 and 
60 squares cut out at the minute before yes. I start my quilt. <gasps> That's yeah, ridiculous. your Harry Potter quilt, mm. isn't it? That I was a lot of squares to cut. I've still another 51 to go. Oh, my word. So, yeah, no, sorry, 152. Three. Speaking of uh, cutting as well, Ting was in today in the shop, came over. Oh, was uh, he? Which was great, and he was cutting lots of fabric. Oh. Uh, he's doing a great little uh, unicorn quilt. Oh, yeah, really? so he was cutting, cutting, oh. cutting. We need to get him to take pictures. But nowhere near as much as, I mean, you, that was a lot of squares. Yes, I'm kind of doing them in batches. I've just that last 51 to do, and then I'm ready to actually start putting it together. But I'm Wonderful. just going for a simple half square triangle, and then I'm going to do some something over the top. Right, okay. So, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I'm going to go for a proper quilt. I thought, well, you know, go big or go home. Or in my case, go home and go big. I'm not, I'm, you know. <laughs> but, yeah. I don't know how excited you can get about this. I have never seen anybody more excited about this particular product. If you follow uh, the Missouri Star Quilt Company on YouTube, and you know Jenny Doan, um, and I do follow her, uh, and she was really my first contact in the patchwork world. When you watch her tutorials, yeah. they use a fabulous iron, and it really is a cool iron. It's a cool yeah. iron. Um, I and it's, get over the excitement oh. over this, honestly, people. He was just vibrating with excitement when I walked in. <laughs> well, now, a British haberdashery company that I use in the shop have got the rights to stock it in the UK, and they have released it. It's an iron. An iron with feet. Yeah. <laughs> the iron really is what, so they say is is designed for patchworkers and quilters. Yeah. Because of the amount of, of traditional irons, you stand it up on its heel, and you then sort your block out, and then you come back. So there's a lot of this. Yeah. And that actually is, you know, demanding on the old hands. So this company clearly, you know, wanted something to perhaps to help that. That yeah, wrist so that action. could be hard on your wrist if you Yeah, I think, oh, of course it would be, yeah. Even I know just from, you know, general everyday ironing for your clothes that that's yeah. there. So they invented this um, technology where, yeah, the sensor, when you grip, it just drops. It is, it is quite impressive. It is actually quite impressive. Ready? Yeah, let's just see you. Put your hand on. Okay. Oh, look at that, look. Do it again. Oh, look at that. And, it, and let's do some ironing. We best just, yeah, go for it. Uh, things about it, you have a nice tip uh, the spray function, as always. <laughs> <laughs> Just carry, keep going. <laughs> um, three steam settings. So it can do it horizontally, but you know like they do on um, the sewing bee, it will do it vertically as well. Oh, so they can so, it, so if you're steaming your curtains or you're steaming something on a, a on. mannequin or your clothes that are hanging up. Yeah. Yeah. Um, um, you can fill the water tank from the side, and then it's that touch activated. It By the way, fancy. we're not getting paid for this. This is no, just no, a, not at all. This is just this a is, new product in the shop. This is just Stuart losing his mind <laughs> over an iron. <laughs> 
So it There's would just a switch be nice. on the bottom, so the switch on and off that you can deactivate and yes. activate it. Yeah, so you take off that that handle <laughs> technology. <laughs> um, <gasps> but it will be just nice to see actually how good it is it for, yeah. in, for real. Um, and if it is something to push, because we have a lot of batch workers here in the shop. Yeah, yeah. And even if you do, if you are somebody who does a whole heap of ironing on a regular basis, it might be. So I thought I'd get it um, and I could try it in the shop, actually see how good it is yeah. and then we can then sell them. My revealing top, or as someone called it, what did they call it? My, I can't remember. I think Ting called it something like my slutty top or something. <laughs> I wouldn't be like, ting, no! <laughs> it's getting there. It's nearly, nearly done. At least it now covers uh, the top yes. half of you. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, so the whole point of this was to play around with... Um, so it was to use up, first of all, my white and navy, my Breton colours, yeah. for a, a, a summer beach project. So we've got the... the, the the cardigan, no, kimono that kimono Colin designed thing, for me, yeah. that's finished and is waiting for the big reveal. So I wanted to use up that cotton. So I thought, well, why not do a simple um, raglan top? Yeah. Um, but I was also inspired by this drop stitch effect, which mm. we talked about on, yeah. uh, on a previous video uh, and linked it to that Instagrammer. So I've integrated this drop stitch effect and the drop stitch effect is done by simply by um, a yarn over and knitting three stitches together. So you've created this hole uh, and, as an anchor point. So when you finish the project, you would just follow down and then release that appropriate stitch and then ladder it right back up. Yeah, and try not to. And get the wrong stitch, yeah, yeah. otherwise you're <laughs> pooped. <laughs> Uh, so that will be there, there, and there. Uh, I then realised that I got a lot of blue from the Breton. I thought, oh, I can't just do a white top, that's going to be really boring. So I then integrated some blue uh, and did it randomly with either a blue and a white yarn, two strands together or two mm -hmm. blue strands, and, and dropped it randomly. So we got this, you know, just a I thought that might be interesting. Yeah, I think that's nice. But I didn't want too much of that and then just went white. Uh, and it, it obviously looks different because it's on, on a female. So I think it I was good. going to say. Yes. It looks a bit chesty. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I've just done a few, this is me literally making it up, but I think that's what's really enjoyable sometimes. Mm. You know, don't follow a pattern, just make it up. So I've done a few decreases to just to, to pull it in a bit at the sides. And then I've done a few decreases. You know, like on a shirt, yeah. you get your darts. Oh. So I've done a few darts, which is just enough decreases on the back to, to pull it in. Fancy. Don't know what that's going to be like when I try it on. We'll see. Yeah. And I've only got a little bit more, but this, this is the only thing uh, in the round. It's great, it's exciting, but when you're doing stocking stitch in the round. Oh my God. Oh. Yeah, it goes on oh. for a bit. Oh. You know, you've got this, you've got to be really dedicated to keep... You have to just keep powering yes, through and yeah. get it done. And that's... So what I've been doing with that is trying to develop my skills of knitting Without looking. whilst watching telly. <gasps> yeah. And that's been a great project. Because you don't want to do that really on your best, you know, yeah. really expensive yarn. So I thought, yeah. right, now's the time to do that. So whilst watching YouTube or TV over the Christmas, thought, right, I'm going to take that risk now and literally yeah, watching TV and, and just develop your, your, your feeling of where you're, of how you're knitting oh, and have kind of improved. And there, I think there are a few stitches in there where you, I've either split or I've combined the yarn or two yarns together, I don't know, clearly sure. some mistakes. But I've developed it because that, yeah. that is the type of project you want to do whilst watching TV. Mm -hmm. Because yeah. it is so boring, yeah. isn't it? You want to be able to just distract yeah. yourself or even listen to an audiobook or something yeah. else you can concentrate yeah. on. So I haven't got much more to do. Probably another, what, uh, 12 inches. inches maybe? I don't know, 6 inches. And then uh, I am not going to do much for the sleeves. 
I might we knew just you'd do... like to get your guns out. So... <laughs> well, at least on the beach, isn't it? So, you know, I might just finish it off. He says on the beach, there. he means walking down the street. <laughs> I don't know if I'd be brave enough to walk where that. Um, but we'll see, because don't forget you've got those. Yeah, yeah, those, yeah. The, the, you've got to be flashy. The, the, the air conditioning stripes. <laughs> <laughs> you call them what you like, Stuart. That's so, good. yes, look, look, looking good. I'm doing a wool fair, my first ever wool fair this year in oh, the UK. Right. And you know, with our woad that we did last year, I yes. thought, do you know what? Let's do a wool fair Ooh. and only take woad. <gasps> Just a whole blue stand of oh, wow. hand dyed natural woad. Because I was looking at some of these wool fairs. And there are loads over in America and Canada as well. Yeah. And they are full of a lot of indie mm. hand dyers, but yeah. they are all doing beautiful colorways. But yeah. I suddenly thought, oh, well, that perhaps my USP would be this blue stand, would just with blue. Old. Yeah. <gasps> Not worry about any other color. Oh, wow. And have loads of different blues, you know, pales to then perhaps denim, dark blues. Oh, that would be great. Nice. Yeah. And so I was exploring more about Wode uh, and, you know, the blues. And then I suddenly thought, oh, what about doing... Because um, obviously I've got to take the, the, the wall there, but I need some sort of display. So I've got to now start, because it's a 10 metre stand. 10 metre square. It's oh, space. Oh, wow. I thought, what am I going to have? You know, I, I could have some, wow. obviously some samples knitted up. Yeah. Some shawls, maybe some scars. But I started to think of, well, I could have linen, oh. take all my linen as well. My woad dyed oh. with lin uh, linen, would dyed, would dyed with woad. Um, and woad I was dyed with linen? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah. That's all right. <laughs> and then I started thinking of more of more of the sort of the woad stuff and, and, and fabric. And yeah. it got me on to shishiko. <gasps> or oh, shashiko. Yes. Shashiko. Shashiko. I don't know I, I how don't you... Know. I would say shishiko, but that's... Yeah, I, I, I reckon... I don't I always say shashiko, but I don't know whether it's shashiko or how you say it. <laughs> I think but, you should say it repeatedly. I know, I yes. I can't remember. So anyway. Um, and then I started looking at uh, shashiko and then boro and these two Japanese techniques. And there are loads on Instagram. Oh, wow. And fell in love with this idea of repairing jeans with... Um, uh, and using the, the, the shishiko technique. So um, that's my sort of next project. You're going to have to explain to, this to me yeah. more. Well, so, can you see? He always has holes in his jeans. Yeah. Well, this was a fashion, wasn't it? Can yeah. I get my leg up? There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so lean back uh, over here. So a good way to start. Uh, so shishiko is all about... Um, uh, when you look at it, it's all sort of denims and repairs and blue because they were using indigo. Yeah. So a good way to start is the jeans. And getting an old pair of jeans and putting a patch behind there. Yes. So that's now covered up with uh, yeah. an old pair of jean patch. Yeah. And you're using cream or white. And you do, literally, it's just running stitches. And you have all these white running stitches um, yes i've seen going, that that's yeah, what that or is or across oh you could be uh extra creative and do like running stitches like a, a starburst or it could just literally be going across there like that and it's this idea of reusing you know we're really into this at the moment aren't yeah. we reusing recycling repairing yeah making things last a Indeed. bit longer rather than chucking out jeans get you know what it's like with indigo stuff jeans the more you wear them the better the color yeah. develops because it fades doesn't and it become your most favorite pair oh, of jeans indeed. and then they die and... so there we are so we're, we're going to repair them <gasps> Fabulous. um oh that's exciting and you have uh shishiko needles and you, there are loads of threads but you have what they call shishiko thread which is uh, a thin thread um, well, you can get thick threads, but it's sort of made up of four or five plies. Um, yeah. So it stands out when you just do this simple running stitch. But there are a couple of people on Instagram who will link in the description below. Go and follow them. Uh, one being Ro Matt. Oh, you've got to look at his stuff. Oh, really? His jeans. <laughs> because they've been repaired and repaired and repaired. Yeah. So you've got numerous coloured denim patches. Mm -hmm. 
but then also this beautiful white stitching against so it's that's all that sort of you know and that links to the woad i was talking about this blue and indigo so then i thought on my stand i could have you know some indigo uh from my woad dye the uh, woad and use the thread as well maybe so it's yeah. just i just thought of another way of having a blue developing the blue stand but also a new project yeah a new skill yes Oh, you'll have I want to get back into that on. sewing, you see. That was that, that was another reason of getting the sewing mojo back on what to do. Yeah. Uh, more patchwork, more cloth making. Yeah. Ready for the sewing bee too. Um, <gasps> and and hand hand fixing, hand you know sewing, making. And it's quite and meditative repairing. doing that sort of stuff because that's what over Christmas I repaired so many little things. Oh, did you? And it was really nice. Yeah, because yeah, I had a bag that had it had lost a bit of material that had ripped. And I ended up finding other material that I'd used for something else. I folded it over to strengthen oh, it and then yeah. sewed around the side and yeah. then hooked it all back in. And yeah. it's now actually like, oh, that looks quite nice yeah, actually. Brilliant. Yeah, brilliant. There's yeah. something special about that, especially yeah. if you really like it. It's like, we do have to do something about this consumer clothes market that we're in now. We yeah. can't keep going to Primark, can we? No. And buying a t-shirt for five quid, wearing it, what, three times and then, and then chucking, chucking it out. It. Because you can buy another one for five quid it yeah. can't, we, we can't sustain no that, and we? it's not it's no not environmentally not uh, economically and the impact it's having yeah no it's um, not the way forward so it's repair more reuse yes keep wearing those same clothes and just repairing them if we can yeah. or going to a charity shop and, and buying something from a charity shop yeah. maybe you know whereas someone has already uh, yeah, it's had, as, it's had as fun with them. Yeah. I love it. the amount of fabulous things you find in the charity shop. Oh, my word. It's fantastic. Jen was in early this week. and um, Jen was, has that. Oh, she can find incredible help. pieces. Well, f not only for her crafting, but clothing. She was wearing yeah. a real big puffer jacket yeah. that you would wear probably hiking, you know, a North Face jacket. Yeah. And I went, oh, this is really nice. And she said, oh, yeah, it's a charity shop find. Yeah. She finds For a ridiculous pieces. price. She got a beautiful, she has a beautiful dungaree dress. And it's just, oh, it's yeah. fabulous. I'm like, where'd yeah. you get it? Well, yeah. Charlie Shop found. And two blinking right as well. So fantastic. And I've been trying on other ones and I haven't found one I liked. And I'm just like, I need to go yeah. and do more Charlie Shop popping. And it does take time. You do have to hunt around. Yeah. And there are certain charity shops that do have certain things. So it all depends on where the charity shop is as well. Yeah, of course. But then that, that's a great day out anyway. Yeah. Go out and I, I know Jen's got loads of craft stuff for her journaling. Yes. That's the Me and Jen brilliant. for my birthday my birthday to out? ourselves was me, Jen and my friend went uh, charity shop hopping. Oh, and we brilliant. found some amazing bits. And the other day she came over for a play and she was like, Where'd you get this? I was like, Well actually that came from our day. And oh, the amount of she has a great nose yeah. for it, but it's so it was such a fun day. We had cake to celebrate halfway through. Oh. But yeah. Always good to have cake. You never know what you might find. But yeah, so let us know if you've had any good charity shop finds or if you're into this whole shishiko repairing your clothes. It might not yeah. even be the shishiko method of, of the running stitch, but oh, you might just yeah. be repairing your clothes anyway. Yeah. And you've always done it. Yeah. Or if you've any other methods you'd like to share, let us know. Oh yes. That'd yeah. be interesting. Indeed, yeah. Yeah, and if you've got any ideas for my blue stand, my woad yes. stand, because <laughs> I've got, it's in July. Yeah, you've got some time. Yeah, and I can't just, and what I don't want, I know when you go to these wall fairs, yeah. they all have that, that, that metal grid thing. Oh yeah, with things hanging. With the things hanging. And I just thought, that's not fitting in with this idea of hand dyeing natural yeah so i don't want something that's sort of like normal either yeah that's metal and i want it quite i have somebody you should talk to oh really I, yeah Ooh. so i could get some because I, I i would i ideally like it just with wood really yeah um and and have my hanks hanging maybe just raw hanging like you know rather than Twisting them like indie dyes do and making them blue. You could always get yourself some pallets. Ooh, yes. Mm. And then just put some nails yeah. in. Yeah, K you keep just it give really a raw. Sand and a bit of a wash, like as in a wash with yes. oil or yeah. whatever. Yes. But all all blue, so blue linen, blue wool, oh, blue clothes. Oh, that would look good. Would it look good? Do you think it would look good? <laughs> I th I'm just, I mean, you can't go wrong with blues, but all those different blues. Yeah. Because someone said to me, oh, why are you just doing just blue? And I thought, well, 
because it's woad, isn't it? It's, yeah. it's, it's, it's that but story of our area. There's also the argument area. of um, if you give people too many choices, then they don't pick anything. So if there's going to be lots of other stands with lots of all the other colours yeah, everywhere, sure. then they can come to yours and go, oh, excellent. Oh, how refreshing just, to see something yeah. different, maybe. Yeah. yeah. So, But yes, let, let us know either way. Ah, cool, we've blistered through, haven't we? Yeah. We can hold the news out and I'm still... Um, yeah, but that's right, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Still halfway through. Yes, indeed, well... Yeah. Yeah, so we're there. Look, that's a great start to the year, isn't it? Yeah, lots of projects mm. on the go. Yes, lots this of exciting is... things. We've got new fabric coming in next week. Yeah. Beachy seaside fabric. Can, can you just read out what you wrote? Uh, that was... Work my... in progress for his thing. I just noticed this. What, what did my you write My cotton out? sexy top. <laughs> I just spotted that. I just thought it embarrassed yeah. him on camera. I don't know whether it'll be sexy though with me. My hair is getting really long now, isn't it? But um, yes. Uh, <laughs> but I um, can't remember what I was saying now. Yeah, so yeah, what a start. Yeah, so new fabric coming in next week. Uh, mm. Beach fabric based with lighthouses, uh, oh. beach houses, beach huts. Getting ready for summer. So we'll be able to talk about fabric next yeah. time. Show mm -hmm. your Harry Potter yes, quilt Yes, million off. of squares cut and hopefully starting to put together. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, so let us know what projects you're doing as well. We've given you lots of homework to do this session, haven't we? <laughs> we want lots but, of comments, So we please. want ideas about blue things. <laughs> we want to see your projects. We yeah. want to know about mending. Indeed, yeah. So Anything else yeah. you fancy sharing, really? Let us know. Yes. But that's it. It is, yes. Thanks a million for watching. Please like and subscribe and tell all your friends and share it on all the places like Facebook and Twitter and Definitely. All that good jazz. Helps it does help us immensely. Yeah, it? it really does. So, but yeah. Always a pleasure. Thank you. See ya. Bye. Mm. Oh, did you hear, just hear that noise? Do that again. Oh. <laughs> Brilliant.